So what we're going to do in this one is basically connect together Power Connect and Power Leads. You'll need a simple Zapier plan, 1500 kind of works. So what you're going to need to do, first of all, is go into your Power Connect account. And I want you to scroll down until you get to webhooks. I want you to come up here and click add webhook, name your webhook, and then it says the event upon which the webhook should be triggered. What we're gonna do is connection request accepted, and it's gonna be with any campaign. We're gonna make this just basic and simple. And now it says target URL to which information should be sent upon triggering the webhook. Where you get this from is you get it from Zapier. If you jump on just below this video and you'll have a look and you'll see that you need to search for this zap in particular. Copy and paste that or click on it and it will say you have been invited to use Power Leads on Zapier. Accept an invite and build a zap. We'll just create a zap from scratch just as an example here. And what you want to type in here is just the word hook and you want to find this one's called webhooks by Zapier. Click on that. Then you want to catch a hook. So sending out a bunch of information, a bunch of data, and this is catching the hook. So it's catching the data. And then once it's caught the data, it needs to do something with it, right? And that's why we're going to put it into Power Leads. We've got a custom webhook URL. So we just click copy. We go back to here and then just paste directly in there. Create new webhook. So test two. So I click this button here, which is test. And then I'm going to test the trigger and bam, it's brought in some template data, but it's pulling in all the data. So we know it's working. Then we just simply click continue. Then what we want to do is we want to search power leads and you'll see you have now been accepted by us to use our zap. You click on here and you choose an event. We want to add a lead to the campaign. So you have to remember we created under campaigns, a campaign that's already made for you called LinkedIn connections accepted follow up email. And it just says, thanks for connecting with me on LinkedIn. So just change this up and insert your lead magnet URL there. Sorry, turn this custom time off and click save. So what that's going to do is it's going to send an email after 25 hours. That's because within the campaigns, there is a time delay of one day after they accept it. After 24 hours, this is sent to them. And then an hour later in between message one and two, the email is then sent. So now we know about the campaigns and generally what it is and you've adapted that campaign. All you need to do is go add to campaign. And now we need to choose an account. What you'll have is connect a new account. It will have a look and it will ask for an API key. You can find your API key very simply by going to your power leads, go to settings and under company and company data here. If you scroll down, you've got your API key here. So just simply copy and paste that into there and click uh, continue in that window. And then you should be able to choose your account. Now it's got to find the campaign. So we want it to go into LinkedIn connections accepted. Then what you need to do here, fill out as much as you can. If you go here, type in first, click on contact first name, and that's going to insert that there. Really, you only need the first name, last name, email, and possibly their, their company name or something. Just click continue. And then it's going to ask you to test the action, press uh, test and review. And what should happen is that under the campaigns, once you've pressed test to make sure to know it's working, you want to go here and you'll see this will turn into a number one. And then you simply just turn it on and you're done. And that's it. That will now run. Hopefully that helped. And I'll see you in the next one where we will be talking about retargeting. 
So I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.